Tug about Kiwi Chevelle one and a quarter away. Three quarters then to the grey Kalina Raffin. Prince Charming over on the inside is next. Around him Zabuan. Two lengths to the favourite El Buremi. A length behind her Wood Street and Seeing Stars. Trisgay took the field now onto the railway side. 800 metres before them, a length in front of Macefield. Jug about. Oh, Seeing Stars has broken down at the back of the field. Seeing Stars has broken down and he's thrown the rider to the track, Larry Cassidy. I think a harmless tumble. Back to the race. 600 metres to go now. Trisgay a half on Jug about. Prince Charming's weaved a passage through the field in the green and white hoops and he's gone through the middle to challenge for the lead. Zabuan coming around the outside. El Buremi's come the widest as they swept to the corner. The race has changed complexion quickly. Prince Charming, Jagabout, Zabuan and the widest El Buremi when they corner. Into the straight they race. El Buremi up out wide and Zabuan going to the lead with Jagabout. Prince Charming wielding a on little on the run. Out wide El Buremi and Zabuan have raced to the front together. El Buremi coming home the better from Zabu and got a half length clear and El Buremi the mare starts to draw clear. El Buremi a length and a half Zabu and three lengths away third jug about from Prince Charming a gap to Wood Street then Trisco, Kiwi Chevelle, Kalina Raffin and Macefield was last to complete the course. And the favourite gets home in the last Al Buremi and uh, it's to pay 261.20 very wide in the straight obviously the better going was out there uh, Zabuan second, two dollars even, and five jug about for third at three ten. Three four five. It'll be there. Race eight at Caulfield, the last. Now where's uh, Maitland? We've got a minute to uh, Maitland. Chief Osti two fifty. National Pride five twenty. Four Tied Man is a two twenty. It's just the favourite over the one. Twelve's Witch Black and down to eight Mr. Resort at seventeen. Doomben. It's due in um, six from now, the last there. And uh, Varigal is at 16, two Turnersville 960. The short price favourite is the three, and that is Tom. Eight Night Brewing 850, three Solidar 220. Quinella $347, and the 483 Trifecta $6,531 on race five. About to Potence coming along with Classy JJ, Dreamy Knee, has uh, a lot of gate speed. We'll soon know all about race seven or race six. They're close, they're set, they're racing. And Dreamy Knee in the centre of the field came out quickly, so did Classy JJ and Prepotence. And three in line, and not a struck match between them early. Getting through in a hurry like a flash, likewise, Mike Turnberry, as the first to ease out of it is Prepotence. Classy JJ, Dreamy Knee dispute the lead around the first corner. Worst the midfielder, Maple Way and Tipper Canoe, who at the moment is on the inside, has two behind him. There's Stonebridge Annie and also all tens. Rounding the home turn, and they've got more to, than two laps to run, and in front, Classy JJ. Held the early lead, perched up second now, Dreamy Knee. That's like a flash on the leader's back and landing 1-1 prepotence. Mike Turnberry finds himself three back the inside, then Maple Way. Now Tipper Canoe has come one off now, third last. Has plenty of racing room inside of him, goes Stonebridge Annie. And back last of all is all tens. They run out of the home straight now and here's Tipper Canoe. He's grinding away three wide. He likes to race outside the lead and I reckon he'll be there in just a moment. A lap and three quarters out and Classy JJ in the cup. Shows the way a couple of metres in front. Here's Tipper Canoe about to race up outside the lead, still like a flash. Gets a good run behind the lead. Easing now for the 1-1 one, one. is Dreamy Knee. My Turnberry three back the inside. On the outer is Prepotence covering Stonebridge Annie. Maple Way is second to last and all tens. Now whips the field in. At the 1100 metre mark, make it the 1000 metre mark, 32-3 the first quarter. And in front, Classy JJ hasn't had much peace though. Tipper Canoe's only ahead away second, like a flash. One of the faves gets a butte run third, and Osman thinking about coming one off. He has. Putting Dreamy Knee three wide, Mike Turnbury saves some ground. Then Stonebridge, Annie Wallback, Prepotence, Maple Way, and all tens. Bell sounding. 
It's uh, one lap to go. 31.1 second quarter and Classy JJ. On his way home now shows out a couple of metres to Tippecanoe. My Turnbury save ground to be behind the leader. He's jostling there with like a flash as they get to the 650. Stonebridge Annie takes a shortcut. Well back Dreamy Knee. Then all tens prepotence out of it with Maple Way as they steam down the back straight. 450 to run now and Classy JJ getting some cheek in front. Leads out a couple of metres like a flash into the clear running on swift now my Turnbury weaves a passage he gets the fourth inside of them Stonebridge Annie they look the only real hopes prepotence running on over all tens back straight has been left though in 30.4 and classy JJ about to be gobbled up the outside by like a flash my Turnbury switching three wide to issue a challenge and behind them Stonebridge Annie classy JJ in front getting up on the inside Stonebridge Annie wider out like a flash and my Turnbury my Turnbury and like a flash coming at Stonebridge Annie but Stonebridge Annie didn't go around a horse and wins the cup a couple of meters to like a flash third possibly classy JJ over my turn breed rocketing home prepotence maple way all tens Tippecanoe weakened and dreamy knee is the last to finish righto well, thank you David that's the uh, one of the features there today at Canberra and Stonebridge any successful at TAB odds of $18.40 and a 340 Deferting number seven, like a flash, one fifty and one classy JJ, a dollar and eighty cents, six seven and one. Okay, our next race for coverage is the fifth of the park. Chip four seventy, number six, pace Nova, at five ninety, four at uh, seven sixty now. Win Vault at thirty six, fine Irish at eight ten, Glory B fifteen and Gronsky Lad at seven dollars ten. It is an outside draw horse under the mobile conditions, number ten. It's an open market. David Steele likes five Brave Chip to be two Kai Bean Brewing and six Pace Nova. Five, two, six for the last at Canberra. There's another look at the figures. It's a wide open. Top performance in the, in the final there today is Slick Runner 2572. So under the circumstances, Dashing Turbo has run a very good race in second position. Did take some ground off the winner. Brave Chip's tightened right up in the market at Canberra. The gate is now rolling for the last of the day. Here's David Steele. Thanks a lot, Darren. They uh, are moving up here for the last, and uh, on Super Tab, the favourite is Brave Chip, just in front of Waltz Gold, who was uh, Horse of the Year here last season. They do move up here for race seven after a successful uh, first day of the new season for uh, the Canberra Harness Racing Club. Stanley Janney taking out the Kipax Racing, Racing Room Tavern Cup. Just about set here for the last. By golly, our elite guy seemed to get a good jump on them. And he came out as though he was Shanghai, our elite guy, and crosses to the lead without a worry in the world. Getting away quickly, Brave Chip on Waltz Gold to third. Uh, getting through Concert Sun, he's back now to about fourth. Whizzing round them from the second line, we've got uh, Pace Nova. Now there's one seems to have parted company with uh, the driver here. I think it might be Winvolt, not sure what happened, but I reckon Winvolt and the driver have parted company as they round the corner more than two to run. And uh, the clerk of the course here trying to intercept Winvolt, where our elite guy comes down the straight now. A narrow leader, Pace Nova's gone up to join him second. Third behind the leader is Concert Sun, is still the driverless Winvolt. Continues into the race, Brave Chip finds himself 1-1. One, one. Gronsky Lad is three wide, trying to search forward. Waltz Gold midfield, the outside of Glory B, then Fine Irish. And the clerk of the course has done a super job to uh, catch Winvolt and Kai Bean Brewing has got uh, a big job in front of him. He's a furlong away and couldn't win. Down the straight, though, the uh, back straight, that is, a lap and a half out, an hour elite guy, the front runner. Finally, after working very hard on the run, Gronsky Lad gets to second. Concert Sun now is third. The uh, leader's back, and Pace Nova gets the 1-1 one -one for the last 9.50. He's being tagged forward by Brave Chip, then Glory B, hugging the marker lions. Further back, Waltz Gold, Fine Irish, and forget about Kai Bean Brewing. He's tailed off. 31.4 the first section as they come towards the home turn again. They're 900 from home, and Osmond has our elite guy, the front runner. He's getting a nice run. Four metres in front of Concert Sun on his back. Gronsky Lad has the breeze. Three back the inside. Glory B. Pace Nova. Is that a fair run? He's 1-1, one, one, but a fair way from the leader. Brave Chip next the outside of Fine Irish. Waltz Gold, the last of the winning possibilities. And right out of it is Kai Bean Brewing. They've had the judge and the bell, though. 33.8 second section. 
It won't be an excuse for our elite guy, and he goes to the back straight, leading by four metres to Concert Sun. Gronsky Lad tapped up the outside of Glory B, then Pace Nova about to pull round Gronsky Lad. Fine Irish next, Brave Chip, well back, but starting a run from Waltz Gold, Kai Beam brewing out of it. Running into the back straight, though, and still our elite guy, the leader. He's uh, out by two or three metres. Brave Chip's coming out after him quickly, giving ground Gronsky Lad behind them, Glory B, and uh, a long way off them, Fine Irish and Waltz Gold, but leading in the back and our elite guy 32.5 up the back it's just a sprint home and he's out full of running by six meters to brave chip and glory b uh concert sun is fourth and then fine irish nothing else can win but our elite guy revved up on the corner there homeward bound osmond's gone for the whip he's four meters in front but starting to tippy toe glory b coming out after him but he's got a big enough break and our elite guy is going to salute in the last good race for the miners our elite guy wins it second uh, possibly glory b i reckon fine irish Irish might have nabbed Brave Chip for third. Close up is Waltz Gold, then Concert Sun, well back post Nova, disappointing. Gronsky lad last of the main division, and failing to finish, Kai B and Brewing. Well, it had the easiest run imaginable. Our elite guy for uh, trainer Glenn Frost and driver Scott Osmond. And it has saluted here, our elite guy after moderate sectionals has zipped home in 29.9 and uh, always had the race in his keeping. Glory B was uh, holding down second, but uh, the third issue might be quite tight. But our elite guy, after such an easy run, the uh, very easy winner, it looks like Glory B might have held second. And out wide, I wouldn't be surprised if Fine Irish just nabs Brave Chip for third but our elite guy at big figures not very often you see a Glenn Frost runner here at uh, double figure odds which is the case on the super tab but Scott Osmond our leading driver of last season and Glenn Frost our leading trainer have certainly got some consolation for uh, earlier defeats with the win here of uh, three our elite guy so with the computerised photo finish details, the numbers are there now, 398. So uh, it was, in fact, our elite guy, Glory B, and Fine Irish did get up to uh, nail Brave Chip for third. 398 are the uh, official numbers after race seven here at Canberra, the closest of force going to number five, which was uh, Brave Chip. Well, our elite guy beginning uh, about as fast as I've ever seen anything begin out here and uh, here he is back to scale a bay gilding seven by son of a fella out of elite patron Glenn Frost okay thanks uh, David that winds up the uh, pacing card there today at Canberra we've got a continuation of the greyhounds at Parklands and Maitland and there are the figures successful there on our elite guide long odds 22 90 and 460 all clear is there nine glory B 710 and eight fine Irish at three dollars the Quinella paid $157 and the trifecta $2,322 even on the numbers of 3, 9 and 8. And that winds up the card of pacing at Maitland. On the way to the boxes at Maitland, this short break and then to John McDermott. Nine ninety, and down we go to midnight, babe.